Hey everybody, today I have had a day. It got all rainy and cloudy and I wanted to make a video, but I just didn't know what to do. I have a lot of stuff coming and, um, you know, I have a lot of new things coming on. But today I thought, well, I wanted to show y'all how I cook dinner. So we're going to do cooking with one hand tonight. <laughs> and I'm going to show y'all how I make my better than Chick-fil-A chicken strips and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you at the end of this video. Today I'm going to make some uh, breaded and fried chicken strips and I apparently beating out the meat right now and I'm going to have to cut this in, in some strips. I was going to make like chicken tenders but I froze the wrong ones so I'm gonna cut this up so we have strips my scissors will cooperate I make some pieces a little bit smaller for my kid because she likes the mini pieces. So, right here I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strips, and that's just out of one breast. And this is my daughter. Okay, back up, baby. I love you. They say you're not supposed to look at the camera. So my pieces are like going all over the place. So I'm trying to get them back in place here. Baby, let me finish what I'm doing, though. <laughs> She's very, very much a mama's girl. Very clingy. Alright, this piece is giving me a hard time. Probably help if I had more room in the plate. But this is the only plate I have out. If you don't like my food or not, you just said you like my food. I know. Can you back up a little bit? <laughs> I'm just afraid she's gonna put her finger up there. Stop being weird, kiddo. I'm just curious of the camera. You're just curious of the camera. <laughs> a mess. Alright, so. We have a fairly, uh, I don't like that piece. Fairly big amount of strips going on here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my ingredients that I'm going to use for yeah. the breading. I'm just going to put this in Okay, well, we don't need that yet, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing that. The big so pasta roni fans here. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get my ingredients, and then I will come back and show y'all how I do the rest of it. 
Okay, I'm back. So, I've got my chicken over here, and I put some seasoned salt and some salt and pepper. Not a whole lot to that, okay? And then I have um, panko breadcrumbs, and I mean, all this is generic stuff, so. <laughs> and then, uh, these are the breadcrumbs right here, and this is the panko breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to use flour. And I do um, put my seasonings in the, the dry mixture. I also have a egg wash and it's got um, just egg and milk and a little bit of salt and pepper in it too. I, I don't know. I mean I try to do like a third of each one. So I mean if you want to like be all technical about it you would probably use like a third cup of flour a third cup of panko and a third cup of breadcrumbs or Italian breadcrumbs but for me I just eyeball it I've been doing this for a long time and so I'll try to just get it all together and it'll be like like that you know you want to mix it all together though you can use your hands or you can use a fork. I just use my hand. It has not let me down thus far. Okay. I'm going to add a few more panko. It's better to like actually over make so you don't have to be in the middle of this being like, oh my god, I don't have enough. just um, pour a lot of seasoned salt in this like quite a bit I don't really know how much I eyeball it like I said and you have seasoned salt on the chicken already so but you do want it to be flavored in your mixture so I'll put that in there and I'll take my hands and I'll mix that around All right, and then we have this herbs de providence and it's got like a lot of different stuff in it, like rosemary and a bunch of other crap. So we put that in there. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano and a little bit of garlic. I'm using garlic salt because, you know, you want your seeds, your breading to be like seasoned and salty-ish flavored you know I don't know if you don't like salt then you probably shouldn't watch this video okay so And then you just do that, like, you know, 20 more times, and then you got dinner. <laughs> I'm not going to double dip it because it really does just make it more messy. So, it's just really, I don't see the point in doing that. It does just make it more messy. Chick-fil-A, I don't think they double dip theirs. I'm doing strips, so.
got all of them in the pan. So about 10 to 15 minutes in the skillet and it comes out looking like this. Delicious. So then you can just use your own seasonings, your own sauces, whatever you want. And I like to use the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A, but you can use whatever you want. So. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy your food if you decide to make it. Thanks for cooking with one hand. Bye. <laughs> so I wanted to show y'all my plate and that is Brussels sprouts, Parmesan and garlic Brussels sprouts, Parmesan cheese, uh, pasta roni, and that is my better than Chick-fil-A chicken strips. So there you have it. That was my better than chick-fil-a chicken strip slash chicken nuggets <laughs> so i hope everybody had a wonderful day and i hope that you're out there making every day beautiful i love you guys bye